guys. I'm gonna start off this vlog. Um, today is Saturday. Um, my boyfriend ended up flying in yesterday to Riverside where I live and um, we're just gonna spend the weekend together and do some fun stuff. He's staying with some cousins um, that live in Riverside, so it works out great. Um, but today we're gonna head up to Newport Beach. Um, my friend recommended it and she told us like cool spots to go. So that's where we're gonna go. Got my little beach bag and I'm gonna go pick him up. So I'm gonna vlog today. I hope you guys are excited. I'm super excited. I can't believe he's here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna vlog today and take you guys along. They have a Trader Joe's. The butchery, what's that? I don't know. William Sonoma, beautiful. Love that place. They've got a gap. That guy looks like he's crying. Well, it's supposed to be just quick, you know, it's like little, little clips. It's not like the whole video. It's like maybe three seconds. It's probably, oh, that's cool. Where are we going? To the beach. <laughs> Another day we had a really fun time at the beach um, but he's leaving today and I don't want to think about it but his train ride is at 3 30 so I have to get him there like early so right now it's like 9 40 a.m. and I'm gonna go pick him up and I think we're gonna go get some breakfast um, and then I think we might play mini golf or do some type of fun activity but saying goodbye always makes me really sad so I just feel like this is gonna be kind of hard it was hard last time but I'm just so grateful that he was able to come out I just feel like the days go by so fast and it's like so sad sometimes but I just got to be grateful but yeah I'm gonna go pick him up now a cafe something <laughs> You're not leaving yet, take it off. You're not here. leaving yet. I'm out of here. <laughs> Shoot. My surgical mask. No, 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 no. All these parts, I'm the sheriff. 
I gotta check if I'm going to, to basically drink all of this water. I gotta see if I'm going to Santa Barbara or Goleta. Don't go! Don't go! Alright, get up, hurry. <laughs> there he goes. It is so hard when he leaves because just like waiting and waiting until like the bus comes to pick him up is just like it's so hard and then once it does it happens like so quick but I'm so grateful that he was able to come out we had such a fun time and I will see him soon my birthday is like in two weeks so he's gonna come for that and so I'm blessed and I'm happy that we get to spend you know some time together but I'm kind of stressed out because it's Sunday and I had some stuff due, but um, I didn't get to it because I was busy, obviously. And so now I'm like, all right, work mode. Um, so I'm going to have to go up, do some work, but it was just really fun to be able to see him. But thankfully I didn't cry. I usually cry every single time and thankfully I kept, I kept it together. But I think the reason why is because I'm going to see him in a couple of weeks, but it doesn't make it any easier. Maybe it'll hit me later tonight. Like it's always super difficult to say goodbye. But you know, if you're in a long distance relationship, there's such a beauty about it and it's healthy and it's, it's not always the end of the world. You know, just be grateful for the moments that you get to see your person, even if it's not often. I'm very blessed that we try to make it work where we can meet in the middle, you know, a couple times out of the month. And I know that's not for everybody, but no matter like the distance is for you, if you're going through it, just know that you're going to get through it and it's okay. And just think of those moments that you do get to see each other. Just don't take them for granted and just be really grateful for it. And, you know, you'll get through it and it's okay. It's just one of those experiences in life that, you know, you might have to go through, but don't think of it as just this terrible thing because it will only make your, you know, relationship stronger and you just keep working on those communication skills. You keep, you know, just reminding each other that you love the person and yeah, it'll, it'll all work out and put your faith in Jesus because he's got you. And so, yeah, but I'm going to head back up. I have, you know, a little, my room's a little messy, so maybe I'll clean and, you know, just kind of change into comfy clothes, start getting my work done. And then hopefully if I get it all done, I can treat myself to like a movie tonight or something like that to relax. So, but yeah, that's all. So.